The other important reflex is the plantar response. Now Babinski, who was a Polish um, neurologist in Paris in the 19th century, his diagrams of the Babinski reflex are of patients seated, so it's perfectly legitimate to do a Babinski reflex with your patient seated. And again, you want to take the foot. Now, you can use the end of a tendon hammer, but equally legitimate is just to use your finger and thumb, and you want to stroke firmly the lateral border of the foot and see what happens to your first metatarsal. So if we use the, the, the tendon hammer, I'm just going to pull that along the border of the foot. There is no need to bring the, the stimulus across the metatarsal head. Babinski didn't do that. You can just firmly stroke the lateral border and you can see that toes flexing nicely. Same again here. Firm pressure on the lateral border of the foot, you see the toe going down. The risk you have is that if you bring the, the stimulus across the sole of the foot, if, you go, if you're too um, far up the foot, someone could actually get a bit of a grasp, tight reflex, and then you've got a flex, you look like you've got a flexor response when actually it's, it's not a flexor response. Um, so if it was a, a, an extensor response, when you stroke there, the toe then extends up, and it's that, that joint there is the joint of interest for the plantar response. Okay.